Hi, on this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Samsung to your Mac using a USB cable. Okay, so this is uh, iMac 27, this is Samsung Galaxy S20 basic version. So what you gonna need on your Samsung phone, you want to download the free smart switch app, you can see here, and on your uh, Mac, you need to download the uh, Samsung switch as well. So just go to the samsung.com slash smart switch, hit the download and then click next, 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 and that's all. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you run the app on your phone and on your Mac and connect using supplied USB cable, okay? You connect, hold it a bit, okay? So now it says it is connected and it's connected. Now, if you want to synchronize, just click synchronize and more important because some people don't know about it you can transfer your photos so just click here this little arrow in here okay open in file browser and then you can go to DCIM and find all of your photos okay so let's say camera yeah. once you copy and paste so you can decide okay let's copy the camera or the photos or videos to your photos app in uh, mac so open the photos app in your mac and then you will have this menu in the top okay go in the file import and then you can choose the location you want to import from so Wherever you exported or saved the pictures, okay, could be download, could be uh, recent, uh, this will list whatever was recently done. Then, when you choose, there is a button review for import, okay, so the system will review the files in there available if you, you want to import it. And you can decide to import all of the all of them, or uh, just select uh, some stuff uh, to be imported. Okay, I won't do this now because I haven't imported anything yet. But that is the first trick. There is some more stuff that will come soon, so stay tuned. For the tips and tricks, as not for everyone. This will go as smoothly as for me. Actually, it didn't go, but I cut it there. some your, uh, some scenes. Okay, so there's some connection issue, like uh, check your charger arrow, or uh, it's turning on and then turning off. Or you have to hold the cable hard, or any other issue. Well, first you should check the cables. Not all the cables are used for data transfer. The ones provided by Samsung should, but I got the cable from them and it's not working. The other thing is, if it's USB-C to USB-C cable, this should work. So the issue is coming only when uh, you're trying to connect USB-C to USB-A cable, the old cable. Then uh, there are some other YouTubers that uh, provided some solutions for this type of a problem. So you got uh, Ryan Love that uh, he provided uh, uh, change the uh, activated developer mode and set the MTP transfer. In Samsung, it won't be exactly as in the in his video. Check for description. Uh, check description for more details. Basically. You would go to settings, scroll down to the about phone, then go inside of software information and uh, scroll down to the uh, build number. Actually, don't really need to scroll down. Type seven times and then this will be activated. Then follow his video. There is another YouTuber, YouTuber 
called Ricardo Gardner. He made a nice video where he spotted really if you're using a, a case, okay, some case for your phone for protection, it might limit the access of the USB ports. So we need to take out the case. Maybe that was issue in iPhone, sorry, in the Samsung S7 with what heels where the the USB cable was maybe one millimeter shorter. So when you put this in with your case, it didn't work. And actually, I tried with uh, cable from Samsung S8, and issue was the same. So check out his video for more details. It's also in the description. The other thing is, you don't really need to use uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Switch. Okay, there is other great application. Before installing the other application, please uninstall the Samsung Galaxy Switch. And of course, the other application is file transfer for Android. Original android.com slash file transfer. Just download it, connect your phone and use as the previous app. If it's not working, sometimes only this app is working. The other time, like uh, my brother has S8 and he can only use this but for my s20 i can only use smarts which i don't know why you have to ask samsung or ask apple maybe apple is magically blocking samsung devices or other android devices i have no idea but there is something that has to be developed and one more thing if you want to have it seamlessly just use Google Photos. Okay, you can't really install Google Photos on uh, on your uh, well on Mac. Sorry, you can't you install Apple Photos on your Samsung, but you can install Google Photos on your Samsung and Google Photos on your Mac, so it's all synchronized. And probably this is the best option. However, it might cost you some money if you want to keep the original size photos because Google Photos keeps uh, free the standard uh, size of photos whatever it means but it does not keep the original okay thank you for watching hope you enjoy enjoy your Samsung and uh, let me know if you have any issues